Hey guys, I wanted to make this video really quick before I left for France. Um, this is just going to be kind of an overview of all my hair care products and kind of the start off of maybe a new series featuring some reviews of hair care products and maybe some hair tutorials. Um, I've kind of been holding off on this for a while just because um, I know I did a hair collection video a long time ago and it just had like a couple items and in it I mentioned I didn't have any shampoos. And some of you were like, you know, why is that? Basically, for the longest time, I had been going to a local cosmetology school to get my hair washed once a week because um, my hair type is the type that only needs to be washed once or twice a week. If I do it more often, it's really damaging. And also because um, it was a cosmetology school, so it was really cheap. And just with my hair type, the hassle of blow drying my hair and doing all this crap to it, like it was worth it to pay them like 10 bucks a week to do it for me. Um, so I wouldn't have to like stress out and it would still look nice all the time because you guys know that whenever you go to a stylist, when you come out it looks so much nicer than when you do it at home. So I was getting that done for the longest time, but then um, a couple things made me want to stop or you know cut back, partially because of the economy and trying to save money wherever I can. And then also because, um, you know, I liked their products. Um, they were in Aveda, or they are in Aveda Cosmetology School, so of course they use all Aveda products. And while I love Aveda products and love that the results I can get from them, um, I think I can do, like I'm always just kind of looking for better products, like no matter what I'm using, even if I find the perfect foundation, I keep trying different foundations just to see if there's anything better. So I wanted to try that out, and then also kind of along the line saving money, I wanted to see if there are any kind of like cheaper drugstore brands that can give me the same results. So, sorry guys, I'm reaching all the way behind the camera here. Um, so basically I thought I'd go through and show you all my hair products. Um, I'll tell you which ones I'm taking to Europe and which ones I'm not. And I'm really sorry just because of the way these are packed, I'm not really going to get to organize them by type. Like I would love to have them organized by, like, you know, here's my shampoos, here's my conditioners, here's my styling products. But just because I'm packing such a variety to go to Europe, I can't organized like that because it's kind of all packed in this little bag I want to keep it separate. So I'll tell you which ones I'm taking to Europe and um, you can request a review. Just leave a comment on this video or send me a message. And if it's one I'm taking to Europe, um, I will definitely do a review while I'm over there or try to as much as possible. Um, and I will post that in my blog, and the link to my blog is going to be over there in the description box. And if it's not what I'm taking near up, I'll just do a video when I get back, which will be like, you know, the end of June or July. So, yeah. Um, I'll start by showing you just like my hair appliances, and these are kind of also the reason that I can stay home now. Um, the first, this is my mom's blow dryer, but, you know, I just borrow it whenever I'm at home. And before I go back to school in the fall, I need to start and buy one for myself. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce this brand, but it's Elchim or Elchim Professional. It's an Italian hair dryer, and this is the Turbo High Pressure model. It doesn't have a model number on it. So, blow dryer, this is like super, super good. Um, before, when I would try to blow dry my hair at home, it took anywhere from like an hour and a half to maybe two hours. And it'd still be like really poofy and frizzy, and I'd still have to go for it with my flat iron. With this, it takes half an hour, 45 minutes tops, and I rarely have to go over it with my flat iron. So that's like amazing for me. Um, next, a beloved Chi, which I cannot live without ever. <laughs> but unfortunately, when I'm going to Europe, I found out online that my Chi will not work. And if I try and use it in Europe, it will die. And I don't want my Chi to die. So just for the trip, I bought a um, Conair cheapo flat iron which doesn't get that hot over here but because they have different voltage in Europe I've heard that it might get hotter over there so I'm really hoping so because this doesn't hold a candle to my cheek. So first I'll show you the products I'm not taking to Europe. Um, I'm trying to start with shampoo but I don't see any up here. So conditioner. Um, I love this, I just don't have enough room to pack it. This is the Neutrogena Triple Moisture Deep Hair Recovery Mask. And it's just like a really good deep conditioner. It is still rinse out. So um, basically I just like put it all over my hair while I'm in the shower after I shampoo. 
leave it on for about, like, put a shower cap on in the shower, leave it on for about 10 or 15 minutes, do whatever else I need to do in the shower, and then rinse it out. Um, it has olive, meadow foam seed, and sweet almond, so really moisturizing. I've gotten really great results from that so far. Um, and then I actually found, oh no, this is a conditioner, um, Sun Silk Hydra TLC. I haven't tried this yet, but I have a story about all the Sun Silk ones. Um, basically when I moved home from the dorm, um, if you guys have been reading my blog, or I think I might mention it like in one video a really long time ago, I go to walmart.com and get free samples of like every beauty product they have on there. And, um, I ordered samples of the Sun Silk Straighten Up line, like, months and months ago. And it came with this 24-7 leave-in cream that I used a couple weeks ago on my hair, and it was so much easier to straighten. It was leave-in conditioner, so my, help, so my hair, like, felt soft and silky. Excuse me, I have, like, the hiccups tonight. And I went to buy it before I went to Europe, and I found out it was discontinued. So I've been going to Big Lots and buying like every Sun Silk thing I can find. I still cannot find the Straighten Up 24-7 cream. <laughs> but I bought like all the other ones to try and see if it works just as well. So on that note, <laughs> Sun Silk 24-7 cream and anti-poof. Which is supposed to like, you know, cut down poofiness and kind of frizziness, I guess. 24-7 cream and defrizz, which might help with straightening, but it says it's for curls. So I don't know. I might use that when I start curling my hair. Um... This is a leave-in protein treatment. It's Redken Extreme Anti-Snap. And um, just like after I towel dried my hair, I usually brush this through the ends. It's supposed to help um, prevent damage and breakage. Chi Keratin Mist, which I use on damp hair. Sometimes I use it before I flat iron, but not that often. Um, basically, it's a strength thinner. Ugh. And then this is like Tresemme Heat Protector. Um, I'm honestly just kind of using this until the bottle runs out, but I spray this on damp hair before I blow dry and I use it before I flat iron too. I also have my Chi Iron Guard, but it's like over there and I don't want to reach for it. Uh, so now on to what I'm actually taking on the trip. This is a lot. So, sorry you guys, if I have to dig through this. I might have to make this two videos because I'm already on seven and a half minutes. Oops. Um, but I just want to show you guys everything already. Um, so, yeah. On my trip, I'm taking, I'm not going to pull them both out, but I'm taking the Herbal Essences Dangerously Straight Shampoo and Conditioner. I found, I did manage to find samples of the Sun Silk Straighten Up Shampoo, so I'm taking two of those that I found. Sorry guys, I have these like in a plastic bag so they won't like explode all over my suitcase. And uh, noise is probably loud for you guys. Um, I have the Hydra TLC 24-7 leave-in cream. It's just like a leave-in conditioner. Um, another leave-in conditioner, Herbal Essence's Long-Term Relationship, which is supposed to prevent split ends and breakage and protect against heat when you're blow-drying. So, yeah. And honestly, this Herbal Essence stuff I haven't tried at all yet. Um, because I just bought it, like, a couple days ago. And like I said, I only, like, I only wash my hair once a week. Um, so yeah. <laughs> John Frieda Frizzy's Heat Defeat. Um, it's just like a protective heat protector. Yeah.